Hey everybody, Kai here. Um, this video is a little late this time for my April Black Sheep unboxing because my package was a little late. They sent me a tracking number um, around the middle of the month and a week or two later I was like, hey, this hasn't updated yet. I sent them a message on their, um, their Twitter and via email um, and they were awesome a very quick response next morning hey we got some packages back we're gonna resend yours tomorrow um, and then checked on Twitter to be like hey just making sure you got our email so they were really awesome on the customer service and I did get my package um, a few days after they sent it back out hi Watson um, <laughs> this is Watson yes thank you thank, thank you um, yes, so I got that package. Um, this time I did not open it yet, so you'll get to watch me fumble with this packaging. While I open my black sheet box for April 2017, and we can see what's inside. I changed my, uh, desk setup since the last time I did this, too. So, like, oh. So my background's a little different. These scissors aren't great. I should probably get better scissors for my desk. Or, I have like, five pairs of scissors in my craft room. I think this will work. Here we go. Kind of. Fucking hell. How did I do Oh. I swear this wasn't as difficult the last time I opened one of these. Uh. Alright. So, April's unboxing. Here is that thing. I'll let you pause it there. Alright, that's long enough. Um, and there's this neat wall that I'm missing. Emerson quote on the back, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path, and leave a trail. Awesome. Inspiring words. So, the first thing on the top of this box um, are two packets. One is a Bella Cures Buttercream. Um, intense moisture for dry skin with a light vanilla and brown sugar scent. It's a body cream that says it can be used all over the body except for the face. Um, so it sounds really cool. I like this packaging a lot. This feels really nice. Um, and it sounds like it's pretty intense. No one use it on broken skin, whatever. Um, so we're gonna use this some other time. I guess this is who they uh, teamed up with because there's also another packet in here for a smooth walnut scrub which tiny walnut particles exfoliate dry surface cells while the creamy base provides moisture for the skin. And this one is also a body one. It's not for um, the skin. So, Oh, but it has a coarseness level. That's really neat. So the skin, ha the scrub, has a little mark for coarseness. Uh, it's not focusing. Focus. No, nope, it's not going to focus. Well, it has like a coarseness, and it's one out of five dots. Um, so these are the partner things. This looks like uh, something that I can't really open and try on camera right now because they are this kind of packaging um, that I can't really seal back up after. But I'm really excited to try these, especially since it's starting to get warmer out. Um, I do with dry skin on my stomach and stuff, and sometimes I like to wear crop tops on my days off and things like that. Um, and I still have, I'm still getting dry skin on my hands and stuff from the winter. So I'm really excited to try out the scrub and then probably put the buttercream on right after it to moisturize after. Um, these are really neat products and I like the packaging a lot. I have not heard of this company before, so this is really exciting to get to try them out. Um, so I will set those aside for later. Next I have, oh, well there is soap, but it doesn't have a package thing on it. I don't know what it is suffering from allergies this week so my nose is absolutely failing me i'm trying so hard guys i don't know they have a soap of the month box too so i think they just have um their own like soap recipe whatever and i do really like their soap from last time yeah this is this is pretty nice i like i said my nose is absolutely failing me allergies have been absolutely killing me this week so i can't tell you what scent this is at all I mean, it's pleasant, 
but I can't differentiate it from anything else. Um, but it smells good. So, um, I'm not sure if... Did they list on here what they're... Oh my gosh, I should have just read this. Tea Tree Goat's Milk Soap. Tea Tree. Um, for skin clearing qualities. So it's anti-acne and anti-aging benefits. So that sounds amazing. Um, I get acne on my face and on my back and my shoulders. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out and use it. Hi, Watson, back there. Hi. Hello. He's making a guest appearance. Um, again. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that works out for me. Right now, it's... My skin is soft. That's the important part. I have one more product in here. Um, this is an essential oil blend. And that is a relaxing aroma. There, I'll, let me try again. A relaxing aromatherapy perfume roller from a Fay Herba Organics. So perfume, which I don't use a lot. This is not going to focus either, is it? I've got like too much light coming from my little um ring light there. Um, but this one I can try, so let's see how this smells. Um, ooh, I kind of like that. A little bit on my wrist. Rub that in. Oh, I wish I'd opened this this morning before I went out for brunch with my mom. That's really nice. It's subtle. I mean, I like nuts and fruity things. <laughs> I say as a um, very queer person. Like, the roller is really nice. I like being able to roll it on instead of spray it. Um, and I think I will actually use this when I go out sometimes. Um, so this is something I'm going to leave on my desk so that I can have this for days that I go out and have fun instead of just go to work. Because <laughs> it's nice to just smell nice sometimes. Um, so kind of a short unboxing since I only tried two of the four products. I'm really excited to try this um, scrub and this body butter, the buttercream rather, um, from Bella Cares too. They sound really cool. So it is already like um, two weeks into May, so I should be getting my May box soon actually. Um, so we're going to be getting a couple unboxing videos pretty close together. Um, I'm hoping to... What am I hoping to do, Watson? Um, so last month's products, I use. I have gone through almost all of the coconut soap from last month. Um, I've used some of the body scrub. It is really cool. That coffee scrub from last month makes my skin super soft, and I'm really excited about it. It hasn't irritated any other part of my body since I tried it last time. It's been really great. Um, and that eye cream, it wasn't like... I did try it when I went to a convention... Um, when I went to Anime Boston and I was using it and, like, my eyes would still get, like, kind of puffy. Um, but they definitely weren't as puffy as I usually get at cons when I don't, like, sleep as much as I should. So that's really nice and it was always really refreshing to, like, wake up and, like, put that on in the morning. Um, and I still have some left that I intend to keep using. It's really cool. Um, and that eye mask I did end up giving to Ian. He hasn't taken the time to use it yet, so I can't give you a review on that one, but it was but it looks really exciting, I hope he uses it soon, because if not, I might steal it back and I might use it after all. Um, I don't think I have anything more to say. Alright, so thank you for watching my Black Sheep unboxing for April of 2017. Just a disclaimer, they don't, like, give me any sort of discounts or anything to do these unboxing videos. I just do them because I think they're fun, um, and I like to share my experiences in the world. Um, so I will be seeing everybody soon for May's unboxing when my May box comes in. Um, and I hope to figure out some, uh, other content soon. Um, uh, my fiancé and I have been talking a little bit about potentially be doing, potentially doing cosplay videos, um, cosplay mu music videos. It's something that would take us more time to figure out and to script and to film and get people together to do it. Um, but we are very excited about the prospect of it. Um, and I hope to get him involved in that sort of stuff. Um, I don't have a con again until Kineticon in July. Um, but I might see if I can pull something together, a solo video, or some sort of behind the scenes of, like, this is me working on stuff, this is, like, my cosplay space, things like that. Um, other than that, I will be seeing you in unboxings until then. So, thank you again for watching, and I will see you later.